welcome back to Health Net Nutrition. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today's recipe I featured on Instagram so many times because I've been so addicted to it. And it is my, what I like to call, a Christmas oatmeal. It is literally Christmas in a cup. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, then it can just be your festive or holiday oatmeal in a cup or bowl because it's so delicious and it's so festive with the, the colors of the red pomegranates and the green pumpkin seeds. And it tastes just, just as amazing. Seriously, guys, like, the flavors of the pomegranate with the uh, oatmeal and the honey and just all the goodness of all the flavors that are in this recipe are to die for and I'm really excited to share this recipe because it's been something that I've been eating like every morning. I've been making it for my sister, for my mom, and I've just been making large batches of it and it takes like 20 minutes to make. I love it. It's, I'm so obsessed with it and that's why I wanted to share it with you guys before the holidays are over so that way you can enjoy it while pomegranates are like ripe and in season and if you saw my November favorites letting you know I'm kind of slightly addicted to pomegranates right now so if you want to see how to make this Christmas or festive oatmeal then just keep watching now for this recipe you're going to need some bananas Next, you will need some filtered water, and I'll have all the exact measurements down below. You'll need some steel cut oats, sea salt, and some cinnamon. You're also going to need some festive toppers for your oatmeal. You're going to need some ground flaxseed, some cinnamon, honey, unsweetened almond milk, pumpkin seeds, and pomegranate seeds. To a medium sized pot you're going to add in your water and just a pinch of the sea salt. You want to bring this water to a boil before adding your steel cut oats. Once you add your steel cut oats like I'm doing right now you'll want to bring the water down to kind of low to medium heat and simmer for 15 minutes. Steel cut oats take a little bit longer to cook than regular oats so you want to make sure you give them enough time to really cook and just absorb the water. Next you're going to add in your sliced banana. You can chop these however you'd like. I just like to slice them in small bits so they melt a little bit quicker into the oatmeal and I like to mash it a little bit with a wooden spoon as well. So you'll just want to throw that in there and then I'm going to add in some of my cinnamon. I'm just putting a couple pinches of cinnamon. You can add in as little or as much as you'd like. And I just like to give my oatmeal another good final stir before I put the lid on and I just let that simmer on low heat for another five minutes. Once it's done, you can remove the lid, turn off the heat and just give it one more stir if you'd like. And then we're gonna go ahead and plate our oatmeal. Once you have your oatmeal in your bowl, you can go ahead and start adding in your toppings. I'm going to start off with my ground flaxseed. You want to make sure it's ground, that way you absorb the omega-3s. And then you can add in a pinch or two of cinnamon just for extra flavor. And then you're going to add in your unsweetened almond milk. This is great too to help cool down your oatmeal and make it a little bit more creamy and just delicious. And then you're going to add in your festive colors. You're going to add in, I don't know why I said it like that, you're going to add on your pumpkin seeds. These are great for protein, fiber, and then you're like the star of the oatmeal. You're going to add in your pumpkin or your pomegranate seeds. This is not a pumpkin recipe. Sorry guys. You're going to add in your pomegranate seeds and I'm not going to lie, I put the rest of that bowl in there as well. And you're just going to drizzle with a little bit of honey. This is optional. The banana is pretty sweet, but depending on how sweet you like it, I like a little bit of drizzle of some raw honey. I just think it just adds a nice sweet sweetness to it. So I have my Christmas oatmeal right here. I don't know if you can see it. I don't want to spill it on you. But I'm going to have a bite of it. I'm so hungry because I had to stop filming so I could quickly get ready because I looked like a mess this morning while I was filming. So I'm going to dig right in because I'm absolutely starving and let's give it a taste test. It's actually still kind of hot, so which is good. So let's just get a bite here. Oh my goodness, so good. Mm. So good. Oh my goodness. You guys have to make this. I think you're going to love it. I really, really do. 
And if you guys make this, please send me a photo with the hashtag HealthNutEats to uh, Twitter and Instagram so I can like your photos and repost them on my wall. I am so excited for you guys to try this and I know you're going to love it. So have an amazing day and I will see you guys in my next video. Happy holidays, everyone. Now I know Christmas is literally tomorrow, but if you still need a last minute gift idea, my DIY holiday granola in a jar gift is super easy and is perfect for those last minute gift ideas just to give to someone you know that you forgot or is just coming by and saying hi or whatever if you want to bring this to someone's house that you're going for dinner. It's just such a great versatile gift and it's just you know great to bring any time of the holidays. So hope you guys check out that video as well and have a Merry Christmas or whatever you guys celebrate. Have a wonderful holiday and I will see you guys in the new year. Bye!